guys welcome back to my channel for today's video i want to share with you that i said yes to the dress <laughs> i'm like i have no idea how i wanted to kind of do this video but i thought it would be fun if we could go through all of the dresses that i um like the main front runners that i tried on and you know, just give you some details about the day. So hi, welcome if you're new. My name is Arielle. Um, I am getting married in September. We are doing a destination wedding and it's going to be a micro wedding. So I'm not sure of the technical term for a micro wedding, how many people that is, but it is tiny. So basically just our best friends, like our best, best friends and, um, with COVID and everything, we had to keep it very small. So, um, and then the place that we're doing it, you know, you're only allowed so many people. So um, I'm really excited. You can flip back through like my engagement and all of that on my Instagram and here on YouTube. Um, I'll leave some of the videos down below, but let's get into the dress shopping experience. So, um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you should because I post kind of like real time there, whereas videos for YouTube kind of get planned out um, in advance. So it doesn't happen in real time because I film in it. I film it usually later than it actually happens. I thought it would be fun to kind of pop up on the screen some of the me trying on the dresses, what the experience was like, where we went. Um, so my best friend and I drove through the beautiful mountains and we ended up in Charlotte, basically. So it's a little town above Charlotte called Cornelius, North Carolina, and that is where Lake Norman is. So if you've never been there, it is so stunning. We were like, we totally want to move here. I hope that Jeff gets transferred, um, you know, for his next coaching career, I hope that North Carolina is somewhere that we would end up because it's beautiful. So we went to, um, it was about a four hour drive, three and a half, three hours and 45 minutes drive. And we packed a cooler. We took Tucker with us and <laughs> Tucker's my dog, if you're new. And we drove through the mountains and it was such a beautiful drive. I chose to go get my dress in North Carolina because I wanted to go to this one place that I knew carried both of the main designers and that was the closest place that they had both designers in that same store. So um, they had the Galia dresses and the Berta dresses. Those are the dresses that I were most interested in. Um, and it's a funny story. I didn't end up getting either of those designers, but they were um, both kind of like runner up to my, like the two runners up. My top three dresses were Berta, um, Enzo and, um, or Enzani, I'm sorry. I think that's how you pronounce it. And then um, the Berta gown, Berta Privé. It was like more of their um, like fun, whimsical line that they have. So anyway, the dress that I got is, um, I'll reveal all the details in like my wedding video, but it is something you guys are not going to expect at all. So let's, um, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't tell you the name. The name of the place is, it's considered the Kleinfield of the South. So I wanted to stay close to home. I wanted to stay in the South. I wanted to support, you know, a small town, local business. And needless to say, people come from all over to go to this place. Um, it is called Angelique Bridal uh, or Angelique Bridal. I will leave the details down below, but they were um, incredible. I had a stylist. We went around. She pulled dresses for me. I tried on, I'll show you my rack of dresses over here. I tried on around 30 gowns. And when I tell you that I wanted to be, I had to be in and out in an hour and a half. Um, I didn't have to be, but that is the time that they allot you for your appointment. Um, and I did not, I'm not a picky bride. I am not, um, like a bridezilla. It was me, my best friend. And we, I just basically, if I put on a dress and didn't get that feeling, I was taking it off. She was standing there. I would try on like dress after dress after dress and not even come out of the dressing room just because I knew I didn't like the dress. So I knew instantly 
um, for about 10 dresses that I actually came out and like went to the little lounge area. They have separate lounge areas for different brides. Um, it was very COVID friendly. Everyone had on masks. They had sanitizer everywhere. Um, and it was just a lot of fun. So let's first talk about um, this dress here. And I'm going to post a picture of it. This was the, I'm going to save the best for last. And this was like everyone's favorite. So wait till the end to see everyone on Instagram's favorite dress. But this dress here was a beautiful dress. Um, I don't have a picture of the front front I don't think but the back of this dress was really beautiful it was very like ornate and beaded and the only problem with this dress is I think this was the first one that I actually came out of the dressing room and like tried on for Amy and the stylist and I loved it but I didn't feel like a bride I felt like I was more so going to prom or a gala or something like that so um, needless to say, it wasn't the dress for me. I'm not really into, I love the mermaid style and, um, I think that that's really beautiful, but I wanted something different and something that made me feel like a bride and not like I was going to, you know, a formal or something. So, um, anyway, the back of the dress, beautiful, stunning. I don't remember the designer. I'm sorry, but um, the back was beautiful and I wanted to be sure to show you guys. So the next dress we're going to go through, we're not going to go through very many um, just because we would be here forever. None of the dresses even compare to the one that I got. So don't even, don't worry. <laughs> you're not, you're not missing out by any means, but this dress was, um, I ended up showing Jeff this dress and he was like, you know, whoa, wow, that's stunning. So this dress was um, the second dress I posted on Instagram and the back was gorgeous. I love the little overlay. Um, it's light, it's flowy. It's definitely something you would want for a very intimate, you know, sexy wedding, but um, just too, too revealing. Um, I won't say my dress that I got is, um, you know, it's not by any means. It's a perfect mix of classic and sexy because I feel like that's very much so my style is sticking with the classic, but also a little bit of an edge and fun element to it. So while I will say this dress right here, um, this is the Berta Privé dress that I tried on. I tried on a ton of the Berta dresses and they get up there in price. Um, and the Galia ones do as well. But I will say this dress was, it was a favorite. It was a favorite. It was not a runner up. I'm going to show you the runner up next, but this dress was stunning. I felt like, I felt really sexy in this dress. And this dress I would have totally worn to like the reception or something like that. Um, I actually almost got the next dress. I almost got two dresses but we ended up saying it really wasn't worth it. You know, I'm gonna get a shorter um, Galia or I, um, I'm gonna get one of these shorter dresses that are more like, you know, fun to dance in, that sort of stuff to wear to the reception. So um, anyway, so this dress, you can see it's very revealing, but it's still beautiful, it's very, um, just makes you feel really pretty and sexy and I love that so um but it's going to be we're gonna have an older crowd there you know I don't want necessarily my dad seeing me in this dress on my big day so um this would be more so like just for Jeff you know um anyway so let's move on to the runner-up dress the runner-up dress was a beautiful Inzani dress and when I tried this dress on the only thing that I didn't like about it is I have a lot of space from like the top of my breast to um like this area right here so my top of my shoulder and my um you know, like my tricep area right here. This is like a lot of space. And I felt like 
I didn't feel like boyish, but I didn't feel my best. And I already know that like, I'm gonna be like toning up my arms and all these sorts of things. I didn't want to feel masculine in any way. And I can't really explain how it made me feel, but I didn't love the strapless on me. I loved um, like what I got. So anyway, I did love the little, um, shoulder piece and I'm sure you could move them up but it just wasn't now you'll see right now the back of the dress it was very, like stunning I had comment after comment after comment and like after like after like on this dress I think it even hit the um like popular page like it everybody loved this dress and they were going to give me this dress for I think around like $900 because I was going to get both dresses now my dress was a lot more than that so I think they were going to give me a deep discount on this dress and I think Anzani is more of an affordable um dress line but I will say um I even to this day think okay should I get this dress for the reception? So let me know down below what you think about this dress. Did I make the wrong decision? Should I have gotten this dress for the ceremony? Um, I'll end up showing you the front. You can see it's very whimsical. It has the high slit, um, which you can't really tell in that picture, but it's stunning and it's gorgeous and I love it. And I hope that one of you brides will get it and wear it. Tag me, show me, you know, um, that you got it, but it's, Stunning. So it's not too late for me to get that dress, but, um, yeah, anyway, so, um, that was the runner up dress. Loved it. Such a beautiful gown. I mean, anybody would look like a total princess in that dress, but while that dress was more of my reception vibe and it was very whimsical and sexy but cute but pretty but playful my the dress that I chose is all classic and a little edgy so I think you guys are when you see the dress I think you're going to be surprised but I think that it'll make sense once you actually see the dress that I chose so be sure you subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. If you watch to the end, um, let me know which was your favorite down below. Let me know if I should also call Angelique and order the runner up dress for the reception. So I'm going to post a picture here and then another picture after that to show you kind of my vibe for the reception. I want to do a shorter dress, maybe like with some feathers or something fun, sequins, like really, really fun, um, shorter dress for the reception because it is going to be very hot where we are going to be. So I do not want to be in, um, my wedding dress for the reception. That is just, that is not what I want. Please subscribe to my channel because you're going to see all we are heading to our destination to like pick out all of our vendors and everything like that. So you do not want to miss out on that. We're going to be vlogging the actual wedding, like getting ready, everything like that. So be sure you follow along for the journey. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure you follow me on Instagram for all of the wedding content and pictures and inspo. Um, I love you guys so much. I hope you have such a wonderful day and be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you want me to keep um, vlogging wedding stuff and sharing details with you. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.